Here in Vallelunga with the Legend cars, the slipstream is fundamental. It means one second per lap. Qualifying, I didn't get my lap right and I started third, but it doesn't matter because everything happens in the race with the slipstreams. That was the start of a 20 minute race in which we overtook each other on every straight and every lap. Borghi, Capelli and I made an incredible race. If you want to win here with these cars, you have to attack right from turn one. Overtake them, get in front and defend that position in every corner of every lap. A full attack race, no caution, no care, I just must win. Ready for race two. The strategy is clear. No strategy. Only full attack from the first corner and then we see what happens. Now, you saw that in race one I was not able to pass in the start, so I have a crazy idea. Let's see if it works. Green, 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 let's go, let's go, let's go. No way to pass, so do you know what I'm doing? I'm pushing Capelli like that. Woohoo! Come on! That worked! Now we are P1 and P2 and following him and taking the slip string. And there we go! I pass Borghi! Come on! I can't believe it! I can't believe it! Like in the PlayStation! Great! Now I will do the next corner. Well, I will stick to Claudio, take the toe and try to overtake it to Campagnano. There we are! Exit of third three. I'm following Capelli. I need to take his slip string and now I can see if I will be able to pass him at the end of the straight. But be careful and behind because Gajanet is trying to attack me. He's taking my slip ring, so I try to go on the left. Let's see if I can pass from the outside. Oh, look at that. Look at what's going on behind. Borg is trying to attack me from the outside. Boom. Let's go. P1. See, this is how it works. You have to fight it every corner since the beginning. Now let's see for how long I can hold the P1. What a mess is happening behind. Random lines, crossing, breaking in the inside. <laughs> it's a total mess. Oh my god, Gatchanesi. He's starting to push finally. Especially if you consider that he's racing with the rented car. If you don't know him, he is former vice world champion of karting and he raced against Hamilton and Rosberg. Simo, 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 Simo. Ah, what a bang. Okay, he didn't do it on purpose. He lifted the foot. It happens. Anyway, let's see what happens in the straight. in the slip frame, everybody in line, let's make some hell. Damn you, Simo, you and your hand again. <sighs> wait, wait, easy, 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 don't worry. again ready to take another slipstream on the straight let's see now if instead of overtaking me i can push him and we can fly away little push on the straight like this that's great let's see if we gain the advantage from the other cars but no actually no i still can see them from the mirror so that's not working of pushing him was to gain advantage both of us and try to fly away from the others but it didn't work the guy has got back to us anyway so let's have fun attenzione il pilota fermo qui a Cimini e la vettura è ferma e non sembra in grado di poter ripartire possibilmente danneggiato safety car safety car weird it never happens <laughs> irony Okay, 
Safety cars out. Here we go. I have to stick to Borgi's rear. Don't let him go. And once the light goes green, whatever happens, happens. Well, 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 my little dear Simone. As soon as you start, I will start with you. I will take your slipstream and I will start. Let's wait, let's wait, let's wait. Now, boom, 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 let's go. The start was good. I have all the time to take the slipstream. And you know what? You know what? You're gonna see now in a few meters, like this. He stays to the right, I stay to the left, I pass him in the outside, and bye bye! Ha 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 ha! Ciao, Simone! Ciao! What a joy! I finally got to return his little wave, but whoa, wait, Claudio, where did you come from? Okay, let's overtake him again. too close from that corner so now I cannot take the slipstream and this might be a problem look at this look at this Simone Borghi the outside we are three wide look at Gaccianesi four wide in the breaking I can't believe it look at that sono in quattro sono in quattro incredibile Gaccianesi all'interno sono in quattro Cappelli prova a tenere duro all'esterno incredibile questa fase anche con Bollini che si è inserito what have we done what have we done I can't believe it and it's not over yet! Ah, I had to leave them! Bollini passed me! There are five of us really win! Five! Five! Anco con Bollini, ora salito in terza posizione, Nasca scivolato in quarta, Borg addirittura quinto e Cappelli e Cappelli è riuscito a incredibilmente a tenere a bada i propri avversari con davvero pochi millimetri che separano le vetture in questa fase si affronta il tornantino con... Wow, they hit each other, they hit each other, they are about to crash What's going on, what's going on? Sì, ha usato forse un pochino troppo in quel frangente qui guardate come va a sfruttare tutta la pista Cappelli There are no more rules, it's a total, wow, it's a total war, look at that Cappelli breaking in the inside he did a massive lockup. Was it to scare Gaggianesi? I don't know it, but look at this. Drifting sideways out of the last corner. We are really close to each other. Three wide, five cars fighting for the victory. I can't believe it. Look at this. We are entering the big corner. Three wide. They touched. They touched. What are they doing, guys? What are you doing? You guys are crazy. Someone is going to crash like this. We literally cannot survive. 10 minutes more like this. Celebra che ho visto Cappelli a fare un'altra staccata delle sue, vediamo se si prova a lungo, 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 lungo. Lunghissimo Cappelli. Come on, Claudio made a mistake, so now it's just me and Gaggianesi. If I overtake him, I can put back in the lead and relax for a minute. time and I can get to run away maybe gara davvero incredibile incredibile questa gara della Legends Car Italia curva Soratte, Nasca all'interno Gaggianese all'esterno, poi Cappelli che prova a risalire la china con Borghi quarto e Bollini che sta lottando con Simone Borghi davvero grande aggressività da parte di tutti i piloti con Cappelli che continua a guidare costantemente di traverso other and I can't get them off so the only thing I have to do is just close nothing more sembra accusare una fase di leggera difficoltà perché ha perso leggermente contatto dal terzetto di testa e ora deve guardarsi le spalle dagli attacchi di Bollini attenzione qui con Gaggianesi con Gaggianesi che prova a prendere la scia su Nasca il quale tenta di difendersi la staccata dei Cimini ce la fa, ce la fa molto bene in questa fase 
e ci è, bastato, ci è mancato davvero poco a un altro contatto ma neanche il tempo di dirlo Simone Borghi si è già riportato a ridosso il terzetto là davanti eh sì, intanto Cappelli, Cappelli va su Nasca, ci prova all'esterno, arriva anche l'altra vettura alle sue spalle di Gazzanesi che ci prova anche all'esterno, però blocca lui! Oh, Gazzanesi, when super white, where did he break? Where? So he lost so much time by going wide that maybe the race is once again like race one between me, Borghi and Cappelli. Non credo che si possa dare per scontato l'esito di questa gara perché li vedete sono tutti vicini, transitano adesso sulla curva a Roma, arrivano sul traguardo e sono tutti distanziati di pochi decimi uno dall'altro. and I will stay in the lead. Now, I have Borghi behind, so I will do exactly what they did in race one. Cover the inside, stick to Claudio, and stay there. How oh, tame, Simone. So much difference with the engine, so much. He overtook me again. Okay, no worries. The race is still long. ricca di sorpassi Borghi, Nasca, Cappelli e poi Pollini, Gagianesi, Rodrigo uscirà da questi i nomi il vincitore di questa mancia conclusiva della giornata si arriva alla curva Roma i lotti che sbucano nuovamente sul rettilineo box ok, il race è 20 minuti plus one lap judging from the time there's three laps to go Borghi got the turbo he's going faster than expected I just have to figure out how to fool him Now it's just the two of us, therefore it should be easier to try and pass him. I take all the slippery to the end. Simone Borghi covers the inside, I will try in the outside, let's see now. Is not this the corner where I will attack, it will be the next one. Let's take some space, let's put some room between the two of us so I can take the toe, I can take the slippery and I can try to overtake him in the next corner. He stays all the way to the inside, there is no room for my car, so I try on the outside. Let's see who breaks the latest here. 
and the hairpin. Simone Borghi braced super late. He went wide again, tried to cross the line in the inside. We are side by side, side by side. He has a little bit of out of advantage in the acceleration, so he remains in the inside, in the next corner. I will try to cross the line because he doesn't have a right line in this corner, but no way, no way to pass him. But it's not over yet. Let's see if an X hairpin, if I can try and pass him in the inside. Nope, he covers once again. I will try in the outside. He remains there. Let's try to see if I can be in the inside in the hairpin in the next corner. To the left in the tight hairpin. Simone Borghi is defending like never. He's trying to cover all the possible doors. But look at this. I exit faster than him. I pushed him a little bit. We get to the chicane. We get to the final corners of the lap. But no way, no way to pass him. A full lap trying to overtake him in every corner, but he's closing like a lion. Despite the slipstream, his engine is too fast and it's so hard to pass him. It's tricky, it's tricky. Back to fighting mode once again. Once again, it seems like a replay, he keeps covering the inside, there is no way for me to pass, look at where I broke here, but he has the advantage in the inside, so he's back again in front of me, but now let's see, he did a very hard braking in the previous lap, let's see if I can fool him and make him make a mistake in the braking, Slipstream so once again, I go to the outside once again, I break late once again, but he breaks too late, he misses the corner, he lost the rear, Boom! Like this! Yeah, let's go! That's what I needed! I don't know if you broke something and I've got to come up with a miracle to hold on. Siamo qui la staccatona alla Sorate con Borghi che riesce perlomeno a riprendersi la terza posizione nei confronti di Bollini e adesso Nasca si avvicina all'ultimo giro di gara dunque ancora giro e mezzo alla conclusione con Nasca che adesso potrà sfruttare questa situazione per lui favorevole ma chiaramente non dovrà mollare di un solo centimetro perché gli avversari sono lì, sono pronti ad approfittare di qualsiasi situazione sono rimasti in cinque là davanti Borghi, Nasca Cappelli, Bollini, Gaggianesi più staccati tutti gli altri di traverso, oltre il cordolo in uscita dalla S Nasca e Cappelli e allora ci siamo perché sta per iniziare l'ultimo giro di gara it's now or never I have to give everything I have for this final lap to defend my leadership here in Vallelunga because I want to take home this win let's see what happens now Cappelli behind me is taking a big slip stream I have to do this corner super flat Capelli and Borghi behind. The slithering is so important. I have to defend like crazy. So I cover the inside. Borghi tries in the outside. I can see him from the mirror. It seems like a replay of the previous lap, but, it but we inverted positions. Now, same strategy as Borghi. I cover the inside. I stay all to the right. Borghi tries to pass me on the left. Let's see his engines, if it still works like a beast. Look at that. He's not pushing, he's not pushing! Yes, come on, come on, like this, break hard! Let's keep the inside line! I don't know what happened to Borghi engine, the engine fastest than anyone else is not working anymore! So that might be my luckiest moment of the day! Borghi is struggling, looks like he has no 100% of power, so Capelli is trying to pass him in the outside! That might be a gift for me, because if a Capelli passes Borghi, I can gain more points of Simone Borghi. They are still side by side, they now get to the curva. Semaforo, Capelli is trying to overtake in the inside. Come on, Claudio, do it, do it. I need those points. We exit the hairpin and Capelli is ahead. Borghi is struggling, maybe he can last another position on Bollini. We get to the tightest hairpin on the left. Final sector of the track, final corner to the victory. Final three corners, we get to the chicane. Capellis is following me. I have to keep defending myself because I don't want to lose the leadership. Not in the last corner, not even from Capelli. We get now to Curva Roma, heartbreaking. I am still there, I'm still there.
Not all victories are equal. There are those races where everything goes wrong for the entire weekend and you know you'll be going home pissed. But then suddenly you find yourself winning and you don't even know how that happened. And then there are those races where you fight like a lion from the first lap to the last lap, which are races where everything happens. The races where you have to take every possible risk just to make it through, inventing magic tricks, impossible overtakes and memorable duels. This is one of them. After five years of racing, I can say it. This was the most hard-fought victory of my entire life. What a victory! I had to watch the replay several times because I couldn't believe what we did. I said that before and I'll say it again. What have we done? <laughs>